Hey everyone, it's Exodus here. How are you all doing? I trust you're doing very well. And welcome to some ultra competitive AC4 manhunt. And yes, I was being sarcastic there because obviously I am playing with and against all new players. Well, not new players, but level 5s. And this is just not a one off occurrence, it's happening to me quite a lot. Um, I have searched and I have quitted out of lobbies in the hopes to find a decent lobby of. Uh, similar levels to mine but it just isn't happening I think I am lost somewhere inside the animus and I am doomed forever to play with new players which is a good and a bad thing um, the good thing is that yes being new players they do provide some amusing moments um, but also at the same time it's it just lacks that competitive side of things I suppose but I know there is a few problems with matchmaking I think and they are looking at resolving those issues but um, I won't talk too much about the matchmaking because yes there is some pretty bad uh, matchmaking and contract system <laughs> present at the moment but yes this is um, my first commentary for AC4 and We've had the game a week and I've played it quite a little bit and you know I am really 50-50 with the game. Um, I am somewhat, I don't know if it's the word disappointed is the right word to use but um, a lot of the AC3 bugs seem to be carried over into AC4 and I just wish that you know, it, the game for me feels like it has so much potential with the game mechanics and things, but these little bugs are really stopping me from fully enjoying the game. And one of my first impressions when I first started playing the game was um, it feels a little bit unfinished. It needs a little bit of tidying up. Um, because right from the get-go we had a strange animation of your body like sliding along like a snake when you get killed and obviously we have when you're playing like deathmatch you have so many pursuers at times and yeah those little bugs and that dreaded limited mode that has really made an appearance for me over the last couple of days I was playing last night and I think it was five sessions back to back within the last 15 seconds of each of those matches I was just kicked into limited mode and I was just getting so frustrated with it because yes it was bad enough in AC3 um, but at least in AC3 you were able to finish playing the match and then you were kicked into limited mode but now this is happening like I say within the last 15 seconds of the game uh, finishing up and it's a little bit annoying because <laughs> you can have some really good sessions because I do I think I did actually find a lobby with um, all prestige players last night and I just got kicked into limited mode and it was one of those matches where it was a great match the gameplay was good you know it was stealthy and they had the, the surprise element to it and then hello limited mode <laughs> but yes um, Apart from the bugs and everything, um, I do enjoy playing the game. Uh, the personas that we have, the persona options um, with the customization and everything, you can spend, well I have spent so much time playing dress ups with them, it's unbelievable. I think I was more interested in customizing than playing the, the actual game. But yes, there's like I said, there's all those customization options. It's pretty awesome. And also the amount of personas that we currently have to choose from is very, very nice. And I was watching um, Niche uh, live stream, I think it was last night? Yes, last night. And he said that, yes, there is five more characters in the DLC, but there's also even more characters still to come. Which, Ubisoft is spoiling us with the personas. <laughs> 
all these personas to choose from. All these customizations. <laughs> it's very nice. Um, obviously, after the personas, we have the maps, and the maps. I am also enjoying them. There is some very, very easy on the eye maps. Um, the only one that I was a little bit disappointed to see was Saint Pierre. I would have preferred it to stay in um, AC3. But I can understand at the same time that obviously these DLC maps in AC3, not a lot of people had the opportunity to play on them because obviously the DLC maps were pretty much dead. Um, so it is kind of nice in a way to see it come back. And something else um, which is a good thing for AC4 is that the uh, maps um, for DLC will all be free, which is very, very nice. Um, so after the maps, we have this user interface. Yes, the menu system when you first get into the the multiplayer. And at first, for me, it felt very nice. You know, it was clean, it's slick, and it's simple to get around it. But now I am finding that when you go into a certain category. The amount of subcategories within that category is becoming a bit of a an ache for me to be, you know, flipping through to find something. Um, there seems to be a lot of stuff in the menus, um, so yeah, that does get a little bit old. And all this green, <laughs> the green colouring that they have done, they really like their green, which I know will please Lady Trickster because she loves green. <laughs> um, but yes, I mean, that is pretty much what I think um, of AC4. And right here, I was walking back and forth because I'm looking for my teammate. Because I know I know that he's a, you know, a lower level and he probably needs a little bit of guidance. So I was waiting for him to come and get the kill. And then I noticed that he was playing with NPCs somewhere in one of the corners. So I just thought, oh, what the heck, I'll just kill them. Because I do give new players a chance, <laughs> you know, but obviously he's preoccupied with something else. So, after seeing him playing with NPCs and throwing random money bombs, because yeah, they're so OP, the I just thought, okay, I'll, I'll play as if I'm playing on my own in Manhunt. <laughs> Which, you know, it's... Manhunt is a game that I do enjoy. But Ubisoft, you saw a little bit, you killed a little bit of manhunt in me because obviously there's no more hard stun locking. It's more of a case of stun and run. And hello, triple multi kill. <laughs> my little friend, he comes running in and kills an NPC. <laughs> I think maybe he was pressing the kill button instead of the ground finish button, which is a very nice addition. No more annoying ground finish priorities. Yes. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I say, I do enjoy playing. It doesn't keep me playing as much as the previous multiplayers that we've had. Um, I find that I'm playing AC4 in very short bursts, like maybe an hour, an hour and a half. Whereas like AC3, ACR and ACB, I can play that for hours and hours on end. And I think once all these little bugs are kind of ironed out in the first patch that we have, I think the game will be a lot better because the the game mechanics and the potential for AC4 is there. They just need to correct a few little things. Um, but yes, like I say, once all that's done, I will probably thoroughly enjoy it. And I am so looking forward to playing on the PC and on PS4 because obviously at the minute this is Xbox 360 that I'm playing on and a lot of uh, people know that I am always playing on the PC and I miss playing with Dechima and Kika and Empty and you know and it's not just that you know the PC it does look damn sexy <laughs> Very sexy. I believe there's a 4K resolution for the PC, which is just oh, I've seen screenshots and it is awesome. And also, 
for the PS4, I wish the PS4 would hurry up and get here because uh, a lot of players who I've been wanting to play with are going to be on the PS4 and it's something that I'm really looking forward to. But uh, maybe I should start wrapping up because there's like 25 seconds left. I should have done, I should have played the event. A 15 minute session would have given me more time to talk. <laughs> As I do a little dino walk there. But yes, this um, this has been Exodius playing Manhunt in A34. Sorry if the commentary sounds a little bit rushed. Um, I will probably break things down in future commentaries and talk about them a little bit more. I just wanted to get you guys a commentary across because I have had a couple of people asking why no commentary? Why just gameplay? Um, so yes, for now this has been EXO. Um, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, leave your thoughts and comments about AC4 in the comments below and I will speak to you all very soon. So until next time everyone, take care.